educator. You may be retired, but you're still an educator. We have Al Browning, who is our expert on water quality testing. I wouldn't quite put it that way. <laughs> compared to us, you're an expert. So Al's going to say a few words. And you can bring a kit. Hey, just a second. Yeah. He's going to go get his kit. Um, various of us have been to water quality training, which we did uh, down in Valdosta by way of uh, Georgia Adopt Stream. The Regional Development Council, Angela uh, Bray. Bray. Angela Bray helps coordinate that. And Al is uh, much of that uh, actual training. So Al's just going to say a few words about what is involved in water quality testing and what um, what you do when you do water quality testing. What are you testing for? Because that's one of the we're we're trying to organize in terms of programs. One of the programs is water quality testing. It doesn't do much good to talk about pollution or alteration of streams unless you can measure it. For the quality testing comes in. Another is quantity, like this stuff about flooding. And another is dealing with local governments, like I was mentioning before. So the, the really most obvious one is water quality testing, which is what Al knows more about than any of the rest of us while well, he's setting up. Uh, did you know we have an arsenic problem here about us? Uh, one of our collaborators, uh, Ms. Matt Mahan, from which county she has to Irwin. Irwin County. Yep. She discovered that there was arsenic in her water in her area, and particularly it showed up really in hot nice water tanks so where the water sits for a while. For a long time, the Georgia Health Department didn't want to deal with this, but as we learned from Dr. Groh, who's the head of the Southern District of the Health Department, they actually went and researched it largely because of Janet McMahon and discovered that at least in Thomas County, indeed, there is arsenic in the West. You can get your water tested through, for example, the county extension agent and find out. It's worth doing it a little bit, but it's worth it for your peace of mind if it doesn't have it, or to know you need to buy a filter if you do have it. You probably won't have it, but if you test, you'll know. All right, so anyway, uh, Alan Browning will now tell us about water quality.